It is officially Thanksgiving month, so I wanted to show you my favorite Thanksgiving meal, which is marinated roasted veggies, mashed potatoes, all smothered with a delicious mushroom gravy. It is so simple and completely free of any added salt, oil, or sugar. I'll show you how to make it right now. Hey everybody, this is Dylan. I eat this meal a whole lot more often than just Thanksgiving because it is so delicious and so easy to throw together. Anyway, let's get right to it. I've got a bowl of potatoes. This is a mix of russets and golds that I've just let sit in water. And I've just left them in water because it will stop them from oxidizing as you're peeling them. You throw them in a bowl of water and keep peeling because that'll stop them from turning brown or dark. And you don't want your mashed potatoes to have dark. You just want that light white gold finish. So let's drain off the water and chop them. All I'm going to do is take these potatoes and quarter them for the Instant Pot so that they cook nice and evenly. Simple as that. That was easy. Now I'm just going to add about a cup of water to the Instant Pot and we'll get it going. I'm going to put these on for like, I don't know, probably 12, thir let's do 13 minutes just for fun and see what happens. Okay, the potatoes are going. Let's move on to the roasted veggies. Really easy. We're just going to chop some things up, okay? Let's start with some chopped up cauliflower that I had left over into a big bowl, just like that. Now we're going to take some carrots and I'll just take the edges, the ends off the carrots and we'll just chop them into nice chunks. And that's that into the bowl. Now let's do some of these Brussels sprouts. So I'm just going to cut the end off of these Brussels sprouts. And then I'm just going to half them and that's it. You can quarter them if you want them smaller or whatever. That's a huge monster. Maybe I'll quarter that one. And that's that, into the bowl. Now let's do these mushrooms. I've got a few mushrooms here. Again, I'm just gonna half these, okay? You don't even have to, you can do them whole if you want. I'm gonna do half. Okay, good enough. Into the bowl they go. Let's move on. This is a beautiful purple potato that I have peeled. Let's chop it up. I'm gonna cut it in half and then half again. And we'll just, just chunk it up into whatever size pieces you like. And into the bowl it goes. One of my favorite things to roast is fennel bulb. It is so delicious. Let's just cut off all of this. And we don't need that. We can save it for veggie stock. And then just shave off a little bit off the bottom here. Cut it in half. And then let's just core out this heart here. And then we're left with these two halves. And I'm just going to go lengthwise like that. And then I'll half it this way and that's beautiful. Cut it in a few lengths and we'll half it. And that's good. Nice big chunks of fennel. Yummy. All right, let's do an onion. And the onion, I'm just going to do pretty much the same way I did the fennel. I'll take it into a few lengths and I'll let it stay nice and big pieces. They're not like my normal diced up onion. We'll just chop it rough. Okay, now we have this beautiful monster bowl of veg. And all I'm going to do is take some veggie stock, doesn't matter, or water, it really doesn't matter. Pour it in, and with that, I'm gonna send in some Italian seasoning, maybe, I don't know, a couple tablespoons or so. Sprinkle that over top, and then we'll get some pepper in there. And then just take your monster spoon and start tossing it around and get all these spices on everything. All right, these are looking nice. So now you can let you can go ahead and roast these right away or you can let them sit for an hour and just keep tossing them like that every few minutes and it'll, it'll marinate really nicely. We're just going to go ahead and roast, all right? I've got a baking sheet with some parchment paper. Spread them out. Yeah, baby. All right, let's send these into the 400 degree oven. I don't know how long it's going to take. I'll tell you at the end of the video. 
So what I'm doing now is just taking all of the leftover liquid that was at the bottom of my marinade bowl and I've added some balsamic vinegar here. I often use balsamic vinegar in the marinade but I forgot to do it just now and they're already in the oven so what I'm going to do is I also like to sprinkle on some water as they're cooking so they don't dry out in the oven. So I just added some balsamic to the leftover liquid and spices, mixed it up and as they're cooking every five or ten minutes I'll open the oven and just brush on some of this uh, leftover marinade and that'll keep them really nice and moist. Just a tip. All right, let's get the gravy going. If you like this video, please hit the like button right now before you forget, it really helps me. All right, for the gravy, I've got three carrots, which is probably plenty. I'll just take the ends off. And I'm gonna dice these up pretty small just so that they cook through because we're going to saute them. Okay, carrots. Let's do some celery too. I got three stalks of celery. Celery in the bowl. I'm gonna do an onion, but actually I'm only gonna do half of this onion right now. So I'm just gonna rough chop this onion, half of the onion. And that's gonna saute with the carrots and celery and we're gonna save the other half for later. I've got a bowl of mushrooms here. I'm just gonna take a few of them and I'm gonna save most of them for after. So we're just gonna dice these up. Nothing picky because this part is going to go in the blender. So just rough chop them like that and we're good. In the bowl. All right, the pan is hot. Let's put the carrots, onions, celery, and mushrooms all in here that we just chopped. Add a little bit of water. Let's just let those cook on kind of medium high heat. All right, while that's going back there, I am going to, however you like your onions, your, if you like chunky onions in your gravy, then chop the onion like that. I'm just gonna kind of dice it you could slice it if you like sliced onion, but I just like some onion texture in my finished gravy. And now this is gonna be, same thing with the mushrooms, is whatever you want for a little mushroom texture in your gravy, just chop the mushrooms up however you like. All right, mushrooms in with the onions. We'll be back at these later. And as this starts to dry out, just add a little more water, give it a stir, and let it just continue to saute. Beautiful. That's looking nice. Now I'm going to mince in about, I don't know, six cloves of garlic or so. And then along with the garlic, I have a teaspoon of parsley, dried parsley, teaspoon or so of rosemary, a teaspoon of thyme and a teaspoon of sage. I don't know if that's too much. We'll see. This is a different way than I ever make gravy. I wanted to do something new. Keep adding a little water. Let's get some pepper in there as well. Another ingredient I kind of like is a little bit of nutritional yeast. Gives it a little tang. All right, let's send this into the blender. All right, along with the veggies, I'm gonna put in a little bit of potato. That's like one or two potatoes maybe. Looks good. And some water or veggie stock, whatever you want, and let's go. And that could be your delicious mushroom gravy right there. I mean, it's looking pretty nice, but I'm gonna take it to the next level. So we'll just set that aside for the moment. And now let's put the rest of those mushrooms and onions we chopped up and get those sauteing. 
So while those are going back on the stove, let's get going on our mashed potatoes. My favorite tool for mashed potatoes is the ricer. I don't use the masher that often. I mean, I like mashed potatoes where there are chunks of potato in it. It's good, but I love creamy mashed potatoes. So I'm going to use this ricer, which is just pushing the potatoes through these little holes so they're super duper creamy and homogenous. Let's get to it. You just spoon some potato into the ricer. Whoopsies. Speaking of chunks. And then squeeze and it comes out like beautiful mashed potatoes. I like doing a mix of the golden and the russet because I love the color of the golden but I absolutely love the flavor of russets. So russets have just got to be there for me. And don't forget to keep coming back here, adding a little water and keeping this going. Oh, these are looking nice. Beautiful. Let's get them really nice and cooked down. Okay, back to our potatoes. Here's what I do. And you tell me if I'm crazy or not. I'm gonna mince another probably six cloves of garlic into these potatoes. And then I'm gonna throw in some granulated onion. I'm just guessing here, I don't know, a teaspoon, two teaspoons, whatever, who cares? It's gonna taste delicious. And then I'm gonna pour in, I love this organic West soy, unsweetened plain. It is nothing but soybeans and water, no sweeteners or anything. And I'm just gonna put in, I don't know how much, just wing it. What was that, like maybe a three quarters of a cup or more? Get that monster spoon out and start moving it around and get them just the way you like them. They're already so mashed because of the ricer. All we're doing is mixing here. You don't want to over mash, so just allow everything to combine and call it a day. If you want them a little creamier, add a little bit more soy milk, no big deal. Oh, those look nice. And they smell so good and nice and garlicky. That is mashed potatoes, we'll be back. All right, this is where it gets good. Take your gravy that we blended up and just pour it in mm -hmm, and stir it up. And now we have that nice chunky mushroom gravy. Oh, look at that, nice chunky gravy. I love it. All right, here are those roasted veggies. Oh yeah, beautiful. I had the veggies in for about 45 minutes at 400 degrees and they are perfect. Please, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Now let's plate this thing and make a meal. Let's get some mashed potatoes on here. Mm-hmm, nice. And now for some veggies, oh yeah. Oh, it's time for some gravy. Mm-hmm, and just get it all in there, yeah. Right in there, beautiful. Look at that, oh yes. And there you have it, just about the easiest Thanksgiving meal. Oh boy. Oh, rich and delicious. This is one of my favorites. I could eat this every week for sure. Many of you know I have my dried cheese sauce mix up on the website for sale now. It's out of stock for just the moment, but it'll be up as soon as possible. I just wanted to let you know that I'm also working on a dried gravy, a mushroom gravy mix as well. I hope to have that up in the next couple of weeks or so. Just working on the finishing touches of getting hold of the right ingredients that have absolutely no additives at all. And so that can be hard with dry, but anyway, it's coming soon. Thanks for watching this healthy vegan Thanksgiving video. Check out this playlist here for my other healthy vegan recipes. Click the link down below to learn about my live interactive cooking show that I do right here in this kitchen. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching. Peace and love. Bye.